Hi guys, I'm here with another dorm room review video. Now, it's been a while since I've posted a video, and that's mainly because I'm home for the summer, so I'm actually no longer in a dorm room. I'm in my parents' house where I'm staying this summer in between my college courses. But I thought, you know what, I really need to post a video, and then I thought, I really need to post a video of this specific trick. It is The Solution by Michael Murray. I don't know if you've heard of this, I don't know if you've seen it, but essentially it is perhaps the best trick you can do with a Rubik's Cube. Rubik's Cube magic is very popular nowadays with Steve Brundage on America's Got Talent. It sort of started a craze of Rubik's Cube magic. And Michael Murray's is sort of the ultimate effect in my mind. Essentially, you take a cube, it's completely mixed up, you show it very cleanly as mixed, you hand it to a spectator behind their back, they begin mixing the cube behind their back, and under impossible circumstances, they take the cube out, put it on top of their head, and it is seen to be completely solved. They can immediately check it out. It is a normal, everyday Rubik's Cube. It's not gimmicked in any way, shape, or form. That is the basic idea of the effect. And I have to say, I have performed it, and it went over extremely well. As a matter of fact, here are some of the reactions from that performance. talk in depth about what makes this so great. Um, first of all, I actually want to tell you that I use a Dian 5 Zhan, Zhan Qi cube. I use this. That's the name of it in the purple. Dian Zai Qi. Okay. And it comes in a box like this. It's a speed cube. It's not an, a special cube. It's just a speed cube so it moves really, really smoothly, okay? And you do want that smooth movement for the effect because you are going to be mixing it around and that sort of thing. So you want to try to get it um, a cube that's easy to move around, okay? The easier you can get one to move, the better it's gonna be for this effect. Now that said, there are some pros and cons to having one that moves so easily. It, you may actually decide that you want one that moves a little less easily because uh, there's some really cool subtleties with sound that can be done with like a normal Rubik's Cube that can't be done with this um, Diane Cube, okay? I just wanted to share that with you. Um, and the routine that I actually use, and um, you probably saw it in the clips that I just posted, um, it actually uses two cubes, and this is a genius, genius creation of Michael Murray to get into this routine from a genuinely mixed cube. And you essentially play it as sort of a gag. You have a cube that is completely mixed up, you put it inside of a paper bag, you wave your hands over it, make a magic gesture, and you reach inside and pull out a solved cube. Of course, everybody knows that you had two cubes. You show that they were indeed right. You put the solved cube back in the bag, you take the mixed cube back out, and now you're ready to actually perform the solution with this cube that has genuinely been mixed by members of the audience. And I love that. I think it's brilliant. That is how I used it in the performance that you just saw there. And you clearly saw, by the way, the reaction of the prefer the person that I was performing it for. They were very, very impressed. There is, um, this is a hard one to talk about because it does use some techniques that are used in mentalism a lot, uh, and but transferred over to a Rubik's Cube. But you'll notice that, like I just said, the, the reaction of the person who's doing the trick themselves is just as ama amazed as everyone else. And you see that as she looks at it and she stumbles backwards and she's just laughing. She's like doubled over at the impossibility of that cube being solved. There's really not enough good things I can say about this. There's really not any downsides. Um, the downside is, I guess, you have to know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. But that said, you don't even have to know how to solve a Rubik's Cube for the routine. But I suggest if you're going to do any kind of Rubik's Cube magic, you need to know how to solve one because eventually it's bound to happen. You're going to mess up and the cube's going to end up mixed. And your only options are to take it all apart or buy a new one. So I suggest you actually learn how to solve the cube. Now that said, there are apps you can get on your phone and on the computer that will actually, you can put in all the, in, the different sides of the Rubik's Cube and it will tell you how to solve the cube. But again, that shouldn't be necessary. It literally takes like a week. I promise if you sit down with the cube for a week watching videos on YouTube, you'll be able to learn how to solve the Rubik's Cube. And also, Michael actually includes a link to a YouTube video that shows how to solve the Rubik's Cube. It's not by him, it's somebody else on YouTube, but he says that's one of the best tutorials and that's how he learned to solve it. So that's really the only downside is that you, you should probably know how to solve a Rubik's Cube, but if you already know how to solve one, you're golden. And again, it's not even necessary to know how to. I just really think it saves you a lot of time in the long run. Um, so what else can I say that's good about this routine? It's impromptu. You could do it with any Rubik's Cube. If somebody had a Rubik's Cube lying around their house, you could take it, you could even secretly solve it as you were playing with it and then get it set up to do the solution. You could show it around to everyone, put it behind their back, and they can solve it themselves. So it is something that is very, very practical. You only need a Rubik's Cube. If you do the version that I did, you need two Rubik's Cubes, but you don't even have to do that. You can do the routine with just one Rubik's Cube without a paper bag, and it would be just fine. Um, it's just a little added bonus that I thought was really cool, so I wanted to include it in the performance. Um, 
again, I can't say enough about it. It got a great reaction. It gets a great reaction from everybody involved. The audience is dumbfounded. They genuinely, you can hear them on the video at how just they gasp and are just sort of like, whoa, and there's like instantly murmur around everyone. It's a really, really great routine. Oh, and you know what the craziest thing is? It's $15. It's either $15 or 15 pounds, but still, it's 15 money symbol. That's all, it's only $15. You are, you're wasting your money if you're not buying this. That's how good this is. If you don't spend that $15 on this effect, you're wasting it. It's just the price of a cup of coffees from Starbucks and you can have a killer, killer routine which will leave people screaming and shouting just like <laughs> Just like that. So I highly suggest you pick this up. It's by Michael Murray. It's a great, great effect. I can't say anything negative about it. It's genuinely that good. Um, I will say it works exactly how I thought it would because I had, I just because I'm very interested in mentalism and have learned a lot about it over the years. And I'm also interested in cube work. So I actually had kind of pieced together everything, but the subtleties in the booklet were well worth paying for it. The subtleties is what really counts. So again, what are you waiting for? Turn this video off right now. I'm done with the rambling. You turn me off, you go to the website and you buy The Solution by Michael Murray. It will elevate your performance to a whole new standard. Not even to mention the fact that this is a mentalism trick that is visual. How rare is it to find a mentalism trick that is visually appealing other than just... So that's my thoughts on it. I think you should get it. What are you waiting on? See you later. See you next time. Bye.